Hi crafters, this is Crafty Savvy and I'm back today to share journal number three um, of my sort of <laughs> fabric cover series here. Uh, I told you guys that I had purchased these fabrics um, from my local dollar store and uh, we're getting through them now. I only have a couple left here to do. Um, so this time I chose this fabric here. I'd already used some of this for um, something else. So I only had a little tiny bit left. So this actually became uh, a traveler's notebook style journal. And I have never made one before. This, would, this was the first time. I don't even know if it's the right size. Um, I just know that it's different from what I make. It's a lot more narrow and a little longer. So um, this happens to be about uh, eight and a half. Well, it's a little shorter than eight and a half by, uh, let's just call it four and a half. So um, yeah, first, first try at uh, this size. So uh, I love black and white or black and cream. I love the color black periods, always wearing black, um, but this is how the cover turned out. Uh, I love it. I put some black lace trim on the side. And uh, let's see here. I put a little bit of trim around the edge of the book after I sewed it. Um, I had some of this trim and I decided to use this little fringe on the edges. And then I also have a metal photo corners on on the edges of the book here on all four sides and then I also decided to put these really pretty black buttons on every corner. I just have it tied closed with some stretchy black lace and this was a mistake. I was going to use a different closure and I put this velvet sort of button on there. It's there now. Uh, I'm not going to pull it off because I may change the closure, closure so I'm, I'm not too sure what I'm going to do there yet. And again, I left it plain for um, a nameplate or to be able to call it something a little later. For right now, I'm just going to leave, leave it blank. So fabric is really, really pretty. Lo just love that. So we'll just go inside really quick here. Okay, so I again used a paper pad for this in the black and creams. And this time I used Authentique Irresistible Collection. So some really, this is older too. Let me just see if I can find a date really quick. No, I can't. Oh, 2013, right there. So really pretty papers inside of there, mostly black and white and cream. So that's what I chose for this project. So on the first page here, I used um, one of those printed bags. I think I got these at AliExpress or somewhere like that. And again, I did the same thing. I cut up one side and uh, fitted it onto my page and uh, sewed it. And this was before it, uh, the pages were actually sewn into the book. So that's how it came out. I also, also coffee stained it. Uh, and then on top of that, I'm, I've got a um, little envelope here, a coin envelope like uh, on the front, just for some added place to put some tags or goodies. So that just goes right into there. I just put a button and some lace on there. And then inside of the bag, I just made a really giant tag with the paper from the paper pad and um, put some lace up there. So uh, on, then on the back side of that, I just used another piece of that paper, attached some lace to it. And then on this page here, I have a piece of vellum, so really rather thick printed vellum that I took off of a card, uh, probably a wedding card or something. And so I reused it. I have a little, these little puffy stickers here um, in a key, uh, shape of a key. I can show you those. I get a lot of questions about where I get things. 
So, okay, I took a lot of them out of the package now. Here's some. Oh. So these are Forever in Time. Uh, they're called Vintage Elegance. They're all called the same thing. They're just different styles. So Forever in Time. And there's a... a um, let's see if I can get this out of the package because of the glare. This is the stuff that you get, I believe, at Dollar Tree. Uh, this the brand um, Forever in Time. So there's an email. And so, um, yeah, they had this style, the keys, and I love them. You know, they got the bronze and they sort of look all vintaged up. <laughs> um, there's some hearts you'll see in there that I used and a few of these. I used that one there, obviously. But I, I have had these for a long, long time and um, I just found them today. So <laughs> put them in the book. So anyway, behind that piece of vellum are just extra pieces of paper. I turned it into a, a notepad. This journal has a lot, I'm telling you, a lot of room for writing and journaling. Um, that's what this is for. So um, lots of space inside of here for writing. And then so more writing space. This is paper from the paper pad. I turned this into a pocket on this side right here. And I had some ephemera that I just tucked into there. And then this is an envelope that I had and it flips open. Um, so I just tucked a few extra things into this pocket here. Put a key on there. A uh, little bit plain. I still might do something with this page. Not sure, but you can tuck stuff in there as well. And that closes up. And then on this side of it, I, so there's another one of those puffy stickers. So beautiful. I just folded down some of the paper from the paper pad, made a little writing pad out of it. Um, I tucked some ephemera that I had up into there. So again, a whole bunch of sheets for uh, writing, journaling, doodling, making lists and whatnot so that goes into there and I love that page and then on this page here <clears throat> I folded up the paper this is from the paper pad and it looks like an envelope when it's closed just did a little bit of stamping here uh, when you open this up like this I have tied some more paper into here so again lots of paper for writing and journaling inside of here uh, folded and tucked away so you would never know you could put secrets in there if you want but uh, I put some uh, hook and loop um, dots in there so that it would stay closed and tucked away nicely so that's that page and then on the back of that, I just created a little pocket here. Just put some ephemera in there. And then more paper from the paper pad. All of this is. On this page here, I just made another little quick book. Um, this is actually a pocket, which I didn't put anything in there right now, but I will. This is a uh, Rolodex. I think they're called cards. And I have a video somewhere back. <laughs> um showing how I did some decoupage or some mod podging some napkins on these so that's what this actually is is just one of those Rolodex cards sorry and I just tied some lace around where you have those tabs cut out and made that into a pocket and then this whole thing is actually a little book so again I've got some velcro on there um, you open this up and there's some music paper in there but there's also lots of places for writing and journaling if you would like so not just all folds up into a nice neat little book and that opens up and then um, there's one of those puffy stickers um, 
looks all vintage and worn. I, I really love the way those look. And then this opens up. I just attached a piece of um, an old book, um, the girl's own paper, the girl's own diary, I think it's called. I'm not too sure now, but anyways. Um, but uh, just a nice black and white picture in there. Then on this page, I just made a giant envelope that you can put stuff in there. I just put a card in there for now. Um, this is from Shakespeare, lots of blank pages. I have had this picture, I've had, I have a couple of these actually for eons and I don't know what it is about this picture. I just, I love it. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know. It's something about it, but uh, it was black and white and I wanted to put it in here, so I did. So I just put him right there into the center of the book, um, having his little coffee there. And then on this page, I just found some ephemera that I coffee stained, did some quick sewing around it. Um, and then inside there is, I believe, little Rondalee sent that to me. And there's some um, vintage ephemera that I copied from Vanka. Hi, Vanka. I hope you're doing okay. I hope everybody is well and safe. And um, so she sent me some beautiful vintage papers um, a while back and and I love them. So I like to just be able to fold them up and tuck them in here. So thank you for that, ladies, both of you. And then I have another envelope that I used here and this one flips out. Instead, I decided to um, put a few, a few of the actual pages inside of that. Um, making kind of a little pouch out of it. So that opens up and on this page I uh, just made a pocket and there's some more ephemera from Vanka. And just plain paper for writing. And then on the inside of the envelope I just created another pocket, a uh, side pocket, corner pocket here with some more of the paper from that um, girl's own diary book that I have. And then this is just folded into envelope shape and it's just some music paper. Goes in there. And then I just, you could put something in here. I just put some lace on the edge. There's another little key. I made a pocket down here. Uh, this is just a weekly time record. that goes in there and then on the back of that I just made a pocket with the paper from the paper pad and there's some more um, vintage ephemera in there okay more writing paper there's just a library um, pocket, the library card on there, in there, and there's another sticker, uh, another little pocket, this just has an envelope and a writing card inside, and then there's another heart sticker, uh, this is another piece of vellum that I had came off of a card of some sort. So I put it in here and made a pocket here, just some ephemera inside of there. There's a doily and some lace back there too. And just some writing paper and that's the end. So I had fun, uh, it's quite full. I went rather quickly, but it is quite full. And uh, so I had fun making this one, I guess, especially because it was my favorite color. <laughs> uh, but so that's that little TN, I guess. And so now I'm going to move on and I'm going to probably. Um, so I have these two left. So I, I guess this is an easy one no thinking required for this one. I do have um, Paris like paper so I'm gonna see how those colors work with this. Got these lovely sort of um, 
they're coming up as violet on the camera, but they're sort of pink and so and gray. So I'll see what I got for that. And then this one, I'm kind of feeling a fall theme. Um, not too sure how this one's going to turn out yet, but we'll have to see. So that's what I've got left. I'm going to move on and hopefully have another journal for you guys soon. So uh, I hope you liked the journal. Let me know what you think. Um, and I just wanted to say that I hope you guys are all well and safe and healthy and happy. Um, you know, going through this. We're going through it all together. My family and I are all doing uh, well. And... Um, everybody's okay here so I hope the same for you guys and uh, and that's it so until we talk to you again you guys take care of yourselves and we'll talk to you real soon thanks for watching